Hello friends, this video on congruence of triangles part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have learned in the RHS criteria, let us again quickly try to attempt a few questions. Which congruence criteria do you use in the following? So here it says that ZX is equal to RP. So ZX is equal to RP. So this side is equal. RQ is equal to ZY. So RQ that is this side is equal to ZY which is this side. Angle PRQ. Angle PRQ. This angle is equal to angle XZY. So it's XZY. That is this angle. So this is also equal. So therefore these two triangles are congruent. So this is as per which criteria. Now is it a right angle triangle? No. So RHS criteria is gone. Are we talking only about the sides? No. So SSS criteria is also gone. We are talking about two sides and one angle and that too the angle is included between the two sides. Right. So therefore we are definitely talking about the SAS criteria. Question number two. You want to show that triangle ART is congruent to triangle PEN. If you have to use SSS criteria, let's say that they are congruent by SSS, then you need to show that AR is equal to AR that is this side should be equal to its corresponding side which is this side that is AR should be equal to PE. RT that is this side should be equal to the corresponding side that is this side so this should be equal to EN. Again AT that is this side should be equal to the corresponding side which is PN. So AT should be equal to PN. Now if it is given that angle P is equal to angle N that is this angle is equal to this angle and you have to prove the congruency using SAS criteria that means side angle side you need to have RT is equal to now for side angle side if this is the angle then which are the sides that include this angle RT and AT right so therefore RT should be equal to the corresponding side which is EN that is RT should be equal to EN and this side the other side that is AT should be equal to PN so here PN should be equal to AT so when you do this then you prove it by SAS criteria Question number 3. In triangle ABC, angle A equals 30 degree, angle B is equal to 40 degree and angle C is equal to 110 degree. So let us draw a rough figure for this triangle. So let's say we have this triangle. Let us call this angle A as 30 degree. Let us call this as angle B which is 40 degree. And let us call this as angle C which is 110 degree. So this is triangle ABC. In triangle PQR, so this is another triangle where you see the angles are the same basically. Okay, so let us say we draw another triangle where angles are same where we say angle R is equal to 110 degree, angle Q is equal to 40 degree and angle P is equal to 30 degree. So that means we have we basically have two triangles such that all their corresponding angles are equal. Now a student says that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by AAA congruence criteria. Is he justified? Why or why not? Now first of all let me ask you something. Do we have something called AAA congruence criteria? Did we learn anything like this? No. So that means the student is telling wrong. But the question is, why don't we have something like AAA congruence criteria? Why is it that even if all the three angles, when all the three sides of a triangle are equal, then the two triangles are congruent. But when all the three angles of two triangles are equal, then why the two triangles are not congruent? Let me explain this. 
Now, in this case itself, you see that triangle ABC is smaller in size than triangle PQR, but still they have the same angles, right? So, even with the same angles, even if all the three angles are same, you can alter the size of the triangle. The moment you alter the size of two triangles, they will no more be congruent because congruence is all about shape and size. Now, if I want, I can draw a triangle very small, maybe a small triangle like this with the same angles that is 40 degree, 110 degree and 30 degree. But do you think that this triangle will be congruent to this triangle? No, because they will never cover each other completely because they have different sizes. So therefore, we do not have anything like AAA congruence criteria. So it does not exist because we can draw triangles of different sizes even with same angles. But that is not true for SSS because if the length of the three sides are given and you can only draw one particular size of a triangle with those three sides. Because you really cannot play around with the angles. Even, even if you try to change the angles, the three sides will not meet. So that way you can never draw multiple uh, sizes of triangles with the same sides. So th therefore we have a congruence criteria for SSS but there is no congruence criteria for AAA. So we can say that he is not justified and I hope I answered why he is not justified. Question number four. In the figure, the two triangles are congruent. The corresponding parts are marked. We can write triangle RAT is congruent to, so we basically need to find the corresponding parts. So what do we see? We see that angle R is equal to angle W. We also see that angle T is equal to angle N and we see that angle A is equal to angle O. So this shows that point R corresponds to point W. This shows that point T corresponds to point N and this shows that point A corresponds to point O. So if we write R A T, so this will be congruent to R corresponds to W, A corresponds to O and T corresponds to N. So we will say that triangle RAT is congruent to triangle WON. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.